you will use for this course. So if you access your Titanium, you may see uh, this interface. This interface is for faculty, so probably it is a little bit different from students' interface, but I believe the, you, you may see the course list you registered. So here, um, if you click this one, I already posted uh, uh, my syllabus and uh, course materials. So I will keep continuing posting all these course materials every week. And if you are in a different uh, section, 51, then probably you may see this interface and that it says it will be disabled. Uh, so you will be merged to one section. So still, uh, the for officially you are in the original section, but for the to uh, merge all together to uh, play uh, all together in the same playground, uh, we will use one merged section here, 50. Okay. So you were, right now, uh, this morning, I checked this uh, last midnight, uh, but it was not merged, but this morning, you are all merged now. So you should be able to see this merged uh, playground. Okay, I, I explained a lot of things here. Uh, you should read all of them, uh, because the reading, and writing is the only way to communicate in the uh, online program. So uh, you have to read this. And uh, this is course syllabus, I posted it. Okay. Okay, so my name is Chang Yun uh, I will teach this 544 Advanced Software Process. This course is to learn about the process. First of all, what is the process? And you are doing your work right now uh, in your company. Sometimes you follow a formal process, but uh, for some companies, you do not follow a formal process right now. So you will learn uh, what is a process and uh, you will practice two types of uh, pra processes. One is a very lightweight process, the, like uh, agile method, and another one is a uh, very heavyweight process. So you will experience with these uh, two different types of processes here. So here uh, you will learn how to uh, define a process and how to use a process, use the process you defined, and uh, how to assess your process, whether your process is proper uh, or not. And then uh, you will know how to improve the process. So you will have uh, two homework assignments, Oops. like this. So in the first homework, you will learn a lightweight process. So actually, you need to build a, a small application Application itself is not much big. Uh, I usually test it with uh, graduate students. Uh, it usually takes, technically, it usually takes a few hours to complete, to build. Uh, it is mobile application running on the Android uh, environment. Uh, even though you don't know about this, I, I test this uh, the, uh, with the graduate students who didn't have any experience with the Android program, but had uh, some experience in programming but uh, he could be able to download and learn all these materials and uh, build this application within a day. So the application itself is uh, not much uh, big. Uh, the, most, the more important thing is process, actually. So you need to practice agile process. So I will introduce uh, the example as I process like Scrum practices and the XP practices, and I will ask you to follow a certain practices there. So that is very important uh, to build this application. Building application itself is not the goal. Following the defining your process uh, to follow this agile method, 
And uh, following the process you defined is the more important thing here. Okay? So once you learn uh, what is a process, how to define a process, and how to follow process to the work, and then we will go to the next homework, homework two. Okay? In the homework two, we will learn a more heavy weighted process, like a similar process or ISO standard uh, process, like a 1 to 2, uh, 7. Uh, and then once you uh, learn about this, and then you will have a chance to assess your process, current process you used in the first homework with this heavy weighted process and see the, how they are different. So you will find out the gap between these two processes. And then you will learn how to fill in this gap. Actually, heavy weighted process is very, very big. Very big. Uh, the, it includes a lot of practices. So in this class, we cannot uh, do everything here. So I will select a few uh, the practices you have to check. And then you will compare this uh, required process with the, your current process. And then find out the gaps. And uh, you will fill in these gaps. So you will learn how to do this job. Actually, this kind of thing is done in the industry right now. So uh, the, when, when I uh, practice this with uh, some companies, when they perform CM, uh, some assessment using CMMI or ISO models, they are doing this really. So based on my experience, I, I, I made a, a homework. I gave you this homework to you. So you will really experience uh, the real things. Also, I will teach uh, theories through this textbook. So this is our textbook, company's book. It looks like a little bit old, uh, published old, but this book is a, a great book, I believe. So we learn about the principles from this uh, textbook, but you will also learn the current uh, practices through the, uh, the Agile method or CMMI or ISO models. So these are the chapters included in our textbook. So I will cover this, uh, most of them, uh, in, the, in this sequence. And uh, we will have uh, three exams. Exam will cover the contents of a textbook, uh, I, the, the lectures I gave you, and also from these homework practices. So as long as you uh, read, understand my lectures, I will provide the video lectures. So as long as you uh, review all of them, and as long as you uh, really do this homework, really do this homework, okay? And then you will easily pass this course. But if you do not do this homework really probably you have a trouble in uh, in the exam. Okay, so I go by close to the assumption. So everything we learn in this class is true. Okay, in the exam. So whenever you have a a, a chance to find out whether this is a, a true answer or false answer, uh, you should go by what you learn in this class. Okay, so you have to read all course materials and uh, uh, you have to do homework. Homework is done by group, so you can build uh, your team. Uh, minimum is two, maximum is uh, six in this, uh, in this class. So uh, please make uh, some arrangement, uh, meeting arrangement uh, for every, every week and then uh, follow or instruction. I provide the uh, uh, homework outline separately. So it is very detailed. It's very uh, many pages. So once you read it, uh, I believe it is understandable. Okay. And if you uh, didn't take any formal course, software engineering course before, I recommend you read this uh, books uh, which are very uh, famous in this area uh, for the foundation of software engineering. So to learn about the terminologies, you have to know the terminologies. So whenever I give you a lecture, I, I uh, 
Well, Shim, you know about the basic terminologies here, so I do not explain the terminologies. And also, you can uh, use uh, web pages at uh, the Google to uh, find out all those definitions of uh, those terminologies. I recommend you read many, uh, as many as resources you can find, uh, because uh, the, a book, one book does not cover all uh, terminologies well. So you'd better read uh, different uh, opinions. So find out good uh, definition for that. Okay. Any questions? Like to take some more. Very thirsty. Yes. Um, is there a time frame between when you post the exam to do? How long do we typically? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Another one I downloaded was the syllabus. Uh, so if you look at my syllabus, it even explains uh, how it works. And they list all the uh, references here, direct reference and the indirect references. Indirect references is only for your information. You, you don't need to read them, uh, but it is good to read if you are not uh, formally uh, educated in this area. Uh, so uh, it will help you to understand all materials. Direct references are required to read. So you have to access them, and you have to read all of this. Okay. And then uh, you will see course outlines, which include the schedules. So I will post course materials based on this schedule, okay? So in the first week, we will cover chapter one. In the second week, we will cover chapter two and chapter three. So strictly, I follow this uh, schedule. I post all course materials. Sometimes I need, I need to re-record and re-edit video uh, uh, contents. Uh, at that time, probably it may take a few days more than this schedule, but usually I post this in advance, okay? So uh, the most important thing is a due date, like this one. As you can see here, I use bold type here, so you should know this due date and the exam date. Others are very flexible, so you, uh, but the most important thing is uh, to have a, the team group meeting regularly. Okay, it is a key to su succeed in this class. Yes. So, there's a microphone. Record it. Thirteen group meetings. How do you propose to hold those? Is that uh, some Skype, Skype video chat, or meeting in person, or? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Again, uh, everybody has the same question, I believe. Uh, your team make uh, your own arrangement. I will provide a group page like this. So you can see here, group page. So these two forums are required to, to subscribe. Other forums, probably you can optionally subscribe, or sometimes you can visit and read and reply to those. But the news forum and the group pages are required to subscribe to get all the uh, messages. So whenever I post something in the news forum, it will automatically uh, to send you email, okay? Once you subscribe, if you, if you the, don't subscribe, it will not go. Okay, so please be sure you subscribe this always. And the group pages, I will make a group forum for each group, each group. So you will see your own group page there. So you cannot see uh, other groups page, but you can see your own groups page. So through that kind of tools, you can uh, share documents among your team members. Also, you may use a Skype or you can meet uh, personally or whatever you want. So to just to make a consensus uh, among your team. Consensus is very important. 
Okay, so uh, discuss with your members and uh, make a good consensus. And uh, do we talk about the product and the process two piece there? Another important P is the people. So the, throughout this course, I like you learn how to uh, collaborate with your people, okay? To follow process to build a good quality product. Yes. So for the groups, are we submitting homework as a group, or are we yes. just coming to? Yes, homework will, will be done by group, and then you will submit only one report per group. Oh, okay. And also, I will I will make uh, another forum like this for each homework submission. So later on, based on the schedule I showed you, you will see in a corresponding week you will see a forum like a group page, like you will see homework one submission forum. So the assignment. So there you can click and you can upload. So your team members can see uh, each other. Okay, whenever you are uh, another team member uh, upload it. I have a question uh, to extend, uh, you know, that prior question. So does that mean the bigger your team is, you have more contributors than, you know, your homework policy? <laughs> That's a good question again. Uh, the, the homework is, the size of homework is the same. Okay, so uh, even though you have uh, only two members, still you have to do the same. But you have to think uh, uh, these things. If you have more members, you need more time to communicate, to make consensus. So the, the communication complexity will be very high, actually. So if, uh, if, have you had any experience in the parallel, parallel programming on the real parallel processors? When you see it, when you, the, you, you, you parallelize the part of the program, you will see communication complexity also increases. So performance is not the proportional, uh, uh, the, just like the number of uh, the parallelism. So to also look at the substituting course, there's a need to condemn them. So maybe, you know, more people does not need necessarily as a product, as a product. So, Actually, the, this work is uh, doable by one person, actually. So uh, uh, many, many uh, in, in past classes, uh, many small size team uh, did a very good work, actually. So don't rely on the number of members. Okay, rely on the quality of work. Okay. So, sorry, if I may uh, add something to your answer. I took uh, two project classes in the program a couple of years ago, and uh, somebody was suggested to use the uh, university's uh, uh, Google-backed uh, uh, email system, which allows you to do Google Hangouts by video, by chat. And those records are there for uh, later discerning there's any trouble already. So that's there. Instead of Skyping, it's, it's building. I explained here some kind of uh, regulations here. Uh, you may use you may use your own tools here, but that that forum you built for this class uh, should be used for academic purpose only. Okay, so don't post any other things. So you have to build your separate uh, the forum uh, to do this homework. Only for, only for academic purpose. We have about 20 minutes left, so we'll do a clear session uh, right now. It's the last part of this, program, this uh, orientation meeting. So we want to, if you have any question, any other question, you can do that. However, um, so going back to my, sorry, you have time to ask any question you want to. So um, the last one is, I think, here. So we have about 20, 20 minutes. Um, if you have any questions in terms of contents, 
try it again. Okay. And also in the meantime, uh, while we're doing this, I ask you to fill out uh, this uh, survey form in the packet. Uh, survey orientation from 